Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, give me the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Great punch lands. He blocks the punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big head kick land. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. 
but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this young man. Just out of range with that left hook. It's a good right hand right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, oh man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of them. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keep his opponent back. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Punch over the top. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. Liver kick. Left hook coming, it's blocked. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. There you go, look for the shot. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big, powerful punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. And he landed the right hand there. Second Wait. round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Section, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just misses with the jab there. Lee 
gets caught with that punch. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Some nice back and forth action here. Lee gets hit with a kick. Leads with the right punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Try to establish that jab. You be first. Strike first. He blocks the shot. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Big leg kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big kick land. And now he's got that tight punch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Head kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. There it is, take the shot now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, collar tie. And he comes through with a big knee. Trump. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That was a nice strike. Ten, Ten minutes, minutes in the, in the books. Nice All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. 
Now, his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Good night if that landed. Right on the How about that shin? Be first, be first. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. That's a big strike right there. Oh, defense into offense there as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect... See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And that one certainly found the target. Nice defense there, huge block. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Whip his hips into that kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick. Right hand. Landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. I came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Kick it off. Oh, that's a nice strike. Didn't take long to see the signs of bruising on the outside of that lead leg. Like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Big power shot there. Give me a takedown. 
15 seconds. Oh, big punch lands. Final seconds of round three. Effective lead right hand there by Lee. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big body kick lands. Just out of range with that right hook. The fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just misses with the left hook. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, 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 over the top. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. Now he's got him hurt very badly. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. That comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, huge block! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Ooh, what a punch. Body kick land right under the elbow. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. Can't take many of those. You better check. Able to check that kick as well. All right, less than a minute here to go in our fourth round. Keep going. 
Nice punch there. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. The season coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Right on the button. Campbell inches right to him, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And Where there's the buzzer play? indicating the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch. So there, DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Blocks the shot. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Real quick leg kick. Oh, nice. Just misses there with the left. Right. Like getting late in the fight, it has been all action to this point as we go down the wire. Could be anybody's fight. Anybody's fight. Both of these guys prepared very well for this competition, and it showed in such a tremendous fight. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Great punch. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right times to land those strikes. Big body kick. Huge block there. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Visibly limping here. You gotta check these low leg kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Nice body. And they separate. 
90 seconds to go to decide this one. Good punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Got clip with the right hand. Back and forth we go. Nice leg kick. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Big kick lands. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, uppercut lands. Hands high, hands high. He's open for the overhand. Come on, come on. 20 on, seconds go. left. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Played the winner by unanimous decision, Bam Bam! Right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you